Every interaction isn't clouded over by the soul-crushing work we have to do. And any solace we find is more than just a reminder. We're in the eye of the storm. What if we can sigh and for once it isn't because we're tired, but relieved? We can lay here and the only pressure is on the bent grass beneath us. We can all reach our roots into the earth and hold each other tight as the storm passes. What if, in spite of the dead leaves beneath us, we grow again? Wouldn't it be a more beautiful world if... Wouldn't it be a beautiful world if, wouldn't it be a beautiful world if, wouldn't it be a beautiful world if, beauty hiding in the corners with, cassettes, books, and photographs, it's relics of the past lit, through paths of tinted glass slits, go there for a moment, for a moment, for a rich moment, ah, for a rich moment, but moments kept tucked away, we say, we say it was just a passing phase, it can't be held in the place, what is richness in the face of poverty today? Today is different. Today is borrowed. But tomorrow? Wouldn't it be beautiful if, wouldn't it be beautiful if, if moments kept in corners with picks and cupboards like in caskets instead of corners were to fill up rooms filled with blooms and blossoms with richness, beauty, embodied moments if richness was brought out? Wouldn't it be a beautiful world if... Wouldn't it be a more beautiful world if we took this time to reconnect? What if this pause taught us to miss each other? To appreciate nature? To take stock in what really matters, those baseline needs that are universal and elemental? Ask yourself, what is sacred? What essential? Is it meaningful work? Taking time out of your day just to play? Is it what we can build and grow together that makes this world a better place? What if it didn't take a pandemic? What if we asked ourselves this every day? Wouldn't it be a more beautiful world if? Regardless of race, language, religion, we grow together in harmony, like the moss covering the forest floor flourishes alongside the towering trees. Regardless of sexuality, nationality, ability, we respect one another, like the birds respect the worms and the worms respect the soil. Regardless of gender, class, or age, we are grateful of one another, like the plants are grateful for the rain. It would be such a beautiful world if, despite our perceived differences, we could coexist like the tranquil ecosystem around us. The soil of our society providing nourishment, the bushes providing shelter and food, the flowers providing beauty, and the trees providing protection. If all members of our ecosystem were acknowledged as essential and loved for it, wouldn't it be a more beautiful world if Beautiful, if we had our basic needs met. Beautiful, if we acknowledged our past and let it influence our future. Beautiful, if we had development without displacement. Beautiful, if we were able to express ourselves without fear or pushback. Beautiful, if we grew towards mutual goals and cultivated support and joy in one another. Beautiful, if we were free to pursue what makes us happy. 
Wouldn't it be a more beautiful world if... When we have time to notice, time to focus on growth around us, all hands on land, observing our sage, basil, and oregano, time to know who was here before us and how they knew this place, how many fought to stay, how many others came, time to see things seen and unseen as essential. Dead leaves feed the fungi that weave webs between the trees, deconstructing and redistributing with ease. Time to remember the role of rest and how roots take hold below, seeking, spreading underground before shoots start to show, unfolding, uprising, unbound. Isn't the world better with time to ground down, enveloped in tulips and gratitude, bound within renewed connection.